Hello and good afternoon. Welcome to our first YouTube video. Um, not really quite sure what to say to be honest, as I've never really done a video like this before. But I'll show you some of our cars: some Honda Type R's, Glanzer, Alfa, Corvette Type R's. Type R's. So as you can see by, uh, by this uh, black and yellow Type R down at ID Works, which is right here which is in the making and we'll I'm going to persuade my brother anyway to uh, hopefully sponsor the, my uh, new Honda Civic Type R build so without further ado I'll introduce the car to you so we've got quite a variety of tire parts to choose from let's be honest and obviously you won't be choosing that one just over there because uh, as you can see it's a bit of a state um, hello neighbour so what I'm wanting to do is to be fair, I've been wanting to make YouTube videos for ages, but never really had the time to do it. But I just thought now is ideal time. Um, so yeah, as mentioned, at ID Works, here's some of our Type R's, and I've decided to use this Black Premier Edition, just purchased approximately two weeks ago, um, as the project car. So, I'm not gonna go crazy. Not going to go tur turbo or supercharged. The reason being for doing so is because if you just take you over here, our black and yellow type R, um, this was supercharged, which is now removed. It was 290 brake horsepower. Now return it back to stock. Reason being, we've got too many type Rs. So, and as you might have seen on Jesse's video, this is turboed, 440 brake horsepower. And just as one of our glands has just sat there. So with the my my type R, the 55 version I just showed you, I'm wanting to do uh, an A build. So I'm hoping to vlog everything, uh, all the mods I do to the car, um, cosmetic and aftermarket, uh, and performance and springs and induction kit, exhaust, mapping, loads of bits and bobs generally just even restoring the car back into a really good condition so when I bought the car originally the wheels are absolutely terrible um, so they've just been refurbished but now I'm 50-50 whether I should have done that or not because I didn't show you before what it looked like before but oh well here we have our EP3 Premier Edition for our Forza setup from when we bought after work the owner of ID works himself let's get some keys this one will do. I was planning on putting it for sale to be honest. Um, putting your number plates, get the car fully machine polished, serviced. It's got an oil leak which I'll be going over. I'll be getting the parts and hopefully, depending on the weather, um, I'm hopefully wanting to do it myself. So, a bit of a tip for you guys so you guys know what to do. These two tire bars here, this is what I do for a living. So, I'll buy tire bars, do them up, make them absolutely mint. And I sold them. This one I've just kept it from my customer Lee from Birmingham, and he's doing quite a few mods to itself. So it's got a lovely car and bonnet on there, which obviously might be stealing for my own build. But yeah, let's see if she starts. Great start. I better get some jump leads. So yeah, up down the situation, find some jump leads, and hopefully get this car started. To be fair, the engine bay is not a bad starting point to be honest. Although I would advise I will be changing the intake covers and inlet manifold. Sure what exhaust manifold's got on it. It's not looking pretty either, so that might be coming off. Oh yeah, and don't mind the car, it's absolutely disgusting. This weather doesn't help. Oh, 
face with one hand. I think I might struggle. Make sure the car's not obviously not in gear. And hopefully, it should start. Right, neutral. Touch down. Heat is on. induction kit which I'm not a fan of and this horrible looking exhaust again which I'm not a fan of so the exhaust is a spoon N1 replica and it just sounds terrible the engine's not warm but I'll give you just a bit of a sound test yeah it's not a fan especially the way it looks on the back, things look quite incomplete to be honest. I think the OEM one looks better than that. But yeah, a lot of you might be wondering why I didn't use this one instead. The reason why I've gone for this one um, specifically is because it's a Premier Edition, so it comes standard with Recaro bucket seats. And they just hold you so much better than the stock ones. Comes with red carpets, more, more steering wheel. But as you can see, the state of the wheel is terrible. It's quite badly worn. So that will be coming off. There's no stereo. Yeah. So, long term plan. Mapped, new exhaust, coilovers. Um, I'm hoping some track days. So yeah, it's our first video. Please give us some uh, constructive feedback, uh, what we could improve on, what could be better. I know the camera is not amazing, we don't have a phone mounting thing, we're literally newbies in this field. So yeah, ID Works will be sponsoring the build, because I'm a blower, um, so I'll persuade him to get whatever I can for the car, because I'll go over in the next video when I take it out for a test drive, hopefully next weekend. Um, as the car's got some issues with it, as I said, it's got an oil leak. It needs a service and there's quite a few other bits and bobs which you need to do into the car maintenance wise so i'll go through that in the next video so yeah stay, stay tuned and make sure you give um, our sponsor a follow and check our ebay page uh, well not the ebay page the id works website out it's not just tire bars we do we do the glances again i don't want to put too much coverage in just one video i'll do a video on each car sort of thing other than them two because like I said, them two will be for sale. I'll do a video on the Glanza. I'll do a video on the Golf R one day. This one's not really worth it because it's got an exhaust induction kit. And I will get the keys for this one day. Once the weather's dried up a bit better. Because it's absolutely insane, to say the least. Yeah, and we'll also be covering this pretty little Glanza here. It's not something you'd see every day. The reason being, it's a V-Reg. But yeah. We've got another glance as well, parked around the front. But yeah, um, I can't really do any content in as towards into driving and taking the car out and seeing how it drives. The reason being, I'm on my own. I don't have a phone holder and stuff. But if you guys can give me some recommendations of which phone holder to order, which camera to order and stuff like that, it would be very much appreciated because it would only make the next vid next videos that bit better. Um, so yeah, like I said, we've got the tire bar. This will be a, a little bit of a, like a project car. I do have an Edition 30, which I'm quite disappointed because I've just done like a full build on the car. When I say full build, I mean like just kind of restored the car because I've got the kind of quite of a sorry state. So I've had like bodywork done to the car, wheels done, new tyres, cam follower, all dipstick and you know, just all the usual. I even took trip down to Arctic just last week to have um, quite a bit of work done to it just to get the car where it is now. So, but I will do a video on that as well because that's quite a fun car to watch. To watch? Yeah. Anyway, please um, let us know what you think of the video so far and let us know what you want to see. Um, what car should we review next? Obviously, this is going to be the main one we'll be focusing on. Oh, 
and they're almost forgot. Almost forgot. Because there's a part on the other side of our building, which is literally, as you can see, in a bit of a state at the moment. That's going to be the new ID Works building with a showroom and everything for you guys to come and see. So hopefully we'll do like a grand opening once it's all completed. But as you can see right now, it's not really much to see. So we'll focus on the cards for now more, more as much. But yeah, this is my other glanzer. This is a track 240 brake glanzer. Again, I don't want to go into too much detail. I'll just show you a bit of a sneak peek from inside. I'm not going to key with me. They've all got bright uh, interior and whatnot. But again, yeah, I don't want to focus on this too much. I'll try to keep the videos as short as I can and yeah let's let me know what you guys want to see and hopefully we'll get that content for you yeah thank you for watching